This record is for the outcast. Following are stories of love, life, and never giving in. Hi guys, Craggy here from SFE Gaming and today I am going to do a Cinema 4D tutorial for you on how to create a door opening animation. Uh, it is the effect I've used in the last few animations I've made. For example, the bank safe opening when the um, safe door opened. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'll, do, I'll show a quick demonstration of one I used in an uh, intro I made for someone. Well, made for the regen clan. It's just a bit of a start here where the door opens up. This bit here as it's opening. Um, it's not a very good example because if you notice at the start, um, the start when the door fully opens, there is a little bit of the door sticking in because I didn't put, make the hinge right on the edge. However, it's a good example of the doorknob and door handle and things like that. Right, so if we get going, first off you're going to want to go into Cinema 4D, open it up, and create a letter. I would do R because it's why didn't that one? Uh, choose a font. Use a font called Batman Forever. Just my personal choice. I quite like using that font. Uh, you do need to download it from dafonts.com. Um, just type in it's free and then just find it on there. Uh, change your depth to 150, so it's nice and wide and then change the height to about 240 it's quite big now so it's nice and easy to work with and stuff uh, line it in, uh, keep it on the left uh, next thing you can do is create a cube by just clicking on the object tool here and then you're going to resize that cube to make the outline for your door keep resizing it until you're happy with the door size you're going to have uh, a bit bigger slide it across and that's quite a good size for a door nice and big um, don't make it too wide that it sticks out into the middle of your letter otherwise it will go all wrong um, make it as wide as you can with a little bit of gap and have it sticking out a little bit at the side here um, and then you're going to want oh and also you need to lift it up so that it's above the floor plane where the floor is going to be and then you're going to go to this icon here and go to the boolie tool drag your cube in and then your text layer in and you'll notice it cuts out the side of your letter here in this bit here, it's cut it out and that's going to be the sort of room area where the light goes but then click on your cube and press Control c or command c and then Control or command v and it copies that the exact same size which is quite handy for making the door itself if you just thin that down a little bit it's a little bit thinner, so it's more realistic for a door. Um, and if you leave, if we leave it as it is at the moment, and you just rotate it, you'll notice it turns in the middle. So it's just turning in the middle of where the cube is, which isn't really what a door does. Um, so to counteract that, we are going to get, we're going to extrude the nerves on it. If we go to this tool here, extrude nerves. And you want to move the extrude nerves to the top corner of your like where the where the cube is coming out of the door is. So move it across and up. And move it right next to the R. So this on the letter itself. And it'll give a more realistic effect when the door is like when a door comes out. Uh, just quickly need to resize this cube. 
the doors thinner when it comes out and then you just drag a cube into the extrude nerves and you'll notice now if we go to rotate on extrude nerves the door comes out like it's on the hinge which is a better effect than what we had before um, you then just click on the cube layer and do control C, control V again and it duplicates that cube uh, you then resize that so it's a little bit smaller make it a little bit smaller in height and width drag it in here so I can move it around if you open your door a little bit by clicking on the extrude nerves and rotating it, it's easier to get the width and stuff of the door, or the extra panels on the door. And yeah, so if you make it a little bit wider than your door already is, and then just duplicate that layer again, drag it in, and shrink that one too to make the sort of panel for the doorknob. Shrink it, you need to shrink it down quite a bit. Zoom in on it and make it wider again. Move it across. And that's the panel. But then we also want to add a door door handle to make it look more like a door. So we'll go to the object tool again and go to capsule. We then move that up and resize that. Resize it down a bit. Right, that's about right size, and then you just need to rotate it round so that it will it goes into your door handle oh. rotate it not resize it if you just move it into the door handle like so try and get it in the middle as the normal door handle would be so it looks like that if you make it longer, you can have it sticking out both sides like a proper door handle would. So if you have it like that, uh, shrink it a little bit. Yes, yeah, so you've got door handle coming out of both sides. Rotate it a bit more so it's coming out straight on both. And that's door handle, and just drag that into the extreme nerves as well zoom back out and now if you click on your extrude nerves you can rotate the door and it opens with all the layers together I'll quickly just get my render settings I have a preset already saved uh, you don't need the ambient occlusion and global illumination I have my settings at 1280 by 720 uh, all frames Save it to tutorial, uh, quick time movie, leave everything else as it is, uh, anti aliasing to best, filter still image, uh, one by one, two by two, and yep, yeah, and delete that one. And do a quick. Uh, preview of that, render preview. At the moment it just looks like that. Boring box sound and image. Uh, we'll put in a floor now. You just go to this tool, click on floor, creates a floor and now you won't see the bottom of the R and you can just see when the door rotates, it looks like it's rotating on the floor. 
we'll add a few lights as well let's make this a bit longer try and make your door open in bit about five seconds at the most so five seconds ish 150 frames um, that long and then you just go to the light tool insert a light and if you just click on just click on the light tool it gives you the correct light that you want straight away and you just lift it up and move it into the hole you've created in the side of your letter like so and then from there if you just click on it you can change the colour I'll do a very faint red colour um, shadow shadow map soft so it sort of creates a shadow and effect on the, um, from the door and stuff like that which is quite a nice effect uh, and there's the shadow on the door handle as well and then you just want to create a few more lights at the front and stuff you can do these ones however you want like make, it into your, make your own studio sort of thing I'll just do mine very quickly that. So the lights haven't been done very well, but you can so you can see the shadows it's creating, and with the red light in there, it still gives it shows that that's the room, and yeah. After that, you just want to add your materials to it and things. Uh, I'll quickly show you how to do the animation on the door. Go back to zero and rotate this so that it's shut. The door shut. It's going to be roughly there. Um, if you go, if you do a keyframe at the start where it's shut click on that icon there and then go to the 150 at the end and open the door to where you want it open to so roughly there and just do a keyframe again if we play this through you'll see the door opens all as one with a nice smooth action that's done and then quick render preview of that and that's what it looks like no doubt you'll see it as like the background bit but depending on what colour kind of floor you have and things, that can actually look quite good. And then you just do the cameras, add your own materials. But just add a very small red material to this to go with the red colour of the light. It's not going to look amazing because I haven't done any effects on the material. But yeah, just like that. And make sure that it is on every single layer. So you need to. Drag it onto the extrude nerves layer as well, so the door's red. And there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. This is my first Cinema 4D tutorial. I know I've done a lot of um and R in this, but if you just leave your comments on what you thought of it, much appreciated.